If there's one question that fills me with dread and anxiety, it's when I get a DM that says, hey, I'm releasing a single tomorrow, any tips? Now imagine if that was something else. Imagine if that was, I'm running a marathon tomorrow, any tips? Well, yeah, what have you done for the last six months of your life? Because if you're just gonna go out and run for 26 miles, you might have a problem. When it comes to releasing a single, it isn't about getting through it. It's about building momentum from one single into the next, into your audience, so you are building that momentum into some kind of return on investment. So could could I get through a marathon tomorrow? Probably. Could I get through a marathon tomorrow in four hours? No, of course I couldn't. Same thing with a single, but here we are about to release a single and you've done zero preparation. So what is it that you need to prioritize? Well, number one is the setup. You are going to use the music to build attention. Remember, you are the hero and the music is your superpower. So therefore, your setup means when people are coming into your house to see your socials, they have to be sticky. We have to make sure that they're coming in, they're seeing content, they're going down a, a rabbit hole, and then they're wanting to hit that follow button. So your socials need to be ready for the oncoming traffic, which starts with your hero picture. I want your hero picture to be the same on every single social media platform. Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, YouTube, I want the same hero picture. Then on several platforms, you've got banners, which is big real estate. This is a chance for you to say the single is out now. Now, even if this is for the next seven to 14 days, you are still telling people about the new single. So that real estate on your YouTube banner is very prime real estate and you need to be telling people what to do. So whether you do it yourself or get someone on Fiverr to do it, you need your banner to have the new artwork with the new single name and it needs to say, out now. Then your bio, which is real estate about you, but now it's also about your new single, which is out now, and then it needs to have a link. Don't make people work for your single. Give them the link that takes them straight there, or even better than that, give them a link tree so when they click in it, they can choose where they're going to consume this song. Is it gonna be the video on YouTube, or are we taking them straight to Spotify? Which leads me on to Spotify itself. Is your Spotify ready for the traffic? Are you taking Spotify seriously? which means you also have the banner, you also have the about section, you also have social media links. You also have to make sure that your single is on Spotify because I cannot tell you the amount of times that aggregators have made mistakes. So is your single on there and ready to come out when it says it is? Taking your Spotify seriously is important because you wanna get on playlists. So if you're not gonna take your Spotify seriously, why would any curators? Anyway, enough with the setup. We don't have time for that. It's release day. You have music to promote, which means set your alarm early. You need to be up and ready to work because there is a lot to do. So set your alarm and clear your diary. So your release day is gonna be broken down into three main parts. Number one is content creation itself. Your song is an asset, but it's only an asset if you manage it. It's only an asset if you make content around the music, which means if you put that song on Spotify and say, I'll leave that there if you want to listen to it, that isn't managing your asset. Whereas if you're making content featuring the music, that is managing your asset. So some very simple examples of this could be pick up a guitar, play the song, or go outside and make a mini music video for 15 seconds of the chorus, or go and find someone and do a collab with that song. Any time where you're saying, here is some content featuring my song is a chance that the outcome will be Spotify. So where should you make that content? Well, anywhere and everywhere, but firstly, we need to take into consideration that right now, at this time, TikTok and Reels, the micro content side of content is getting the most amount of attention. But there are so many places that you can make content. Instagram Reels, Instagram Feed, Instagram Stories, you've got YouTube, you've got YouTube Shorts, you've got TikTok, there's so many places. This is the Grand Canyon and you are throwing everything in, trying to fill it up piece by piece by piece. So how many pieces of content could you make on release day? 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80? Yes, you can make as many pieces of content as you want featuring your song. After all, Instagram Stories, 10 seconds, you could make 20 of them in a day. Instagram feed, yes, you could make chop up parts of the music video. If you don't have one, you could start to go out and make mini music videos. You could do TikTok, you can do Reels, you could do YouTube Shorts. All of these things are pieces of content which will be pushing your song. Now the golden rule, your song is your asset. So don't make content which isn't featuring your song. And every single piece of content needs to have the link. Don't make people work. If it's a story, have the link. If it's feed, have the link. Have the 
the link anywhere and everywhere you can have it so at the touch of a button, people can be transported to the place where they want to listen to it. So if number one is content creation, number two is promotion and the community. For all the people who are coming in to join the community, you have also got people who are excited about you and what you're doing and your new song. So how can we gamify this? So an example of this would be the 10th comment on this video will receive a signed CD or a signed t-shirt or a hug, whatever you want to give them. You hit 10, you go again. Now the 20th comment is also going to receive a t-shirt or a CD or whatever you want it to be. Now it doesn't just have to be you making content. You've got friends and family. You've also got talented friends who are musicians or creators as well. So why not give them a shout and say, do me a favor, make a piece of content featuring my music. I don't care whether you're singing along, playing along, doing a cover version, or just playing it in the car saying bang in tune. If you play it, I will share it. Now, how many times can you do this on Release Day? As many as you can get. 10 times, 20 times, 30 times. You're just saying another one, another one. Now what you're doing is you're ramping up the social proof. You're saying, look at all these people who love my new song. Therefore, you're going to love my new song too. And don't forget the golden rule, which is every single story on your Instagram will have that link to take people straight to Spotify. Guys, quick interruption. You're clearly releasing music and serious about getting results. So have you checked out DK Music Business Academy? It's got over 50 hours worth of courses, including the Roadmap to 1 Million Streams course. On top of that, you've got live sessions with me every single week and a community of like-minded musicians from all over the world. And as well as that, there's even my playlisting tool, Sonar, where you can get in touch with playlist curators when you're releasing music. What have you got to lose? Seven day free trial, links in the description. Let's crack on with the video. And number three, and this is where you get the most amount of traction, is the one-to-one. -one. My pet peeve is putting something out on Instagram or Facebook. Hey, new song is out now. So what? Who cares? You need to be getting down in the trenches one-to-one. -one. And that means text, WhatsApp, email, DMs on every single channel that you've got. Anyone that you can think of, you're going to message them and say, hey, do me a favor. My new song is out now. Here is the link. Do not send them any messages without the link because you're making them work and I promise you they will not do the work. Now this goes out to anyone and everyone you feel comfortable asking. In fact, this goes out to anyone you even don't feel comfortable asking. Just say, hey, do me a favor, click the link, listen to the track all the way through and I'll buy you a beer. Are you gonna buy a beer? Probably not, but that's not the point. How many times can you do this? A hundred times? How many friends have you got? How many acquaintances are you prepared to ask? This could be the difference between 100 or 200 or 300 plays on Spotify, and that might trigger the algorithm to getting you on a couple more playlists. So what's expected of you over the next seven days of this release? Well, I would suggest at least five TikToks, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts every single day for the next seven days. Now, stop worrying about bugging people or getting on people's nerves with too much content. This is not 2017 anymore. One swipe and you are gone. So therefore, it takes away that pressure of having to make content that people are going to watch and get frustrated with. On top of that, I want you to go live on every single platform. Why? Because it's free. Because you can. Why not go live on TikTok and then go live on Instagram and then go live on YouTube and then go live on Facebook. Don't go live all at the same time. Just pick and choose your battles every single day. I'm going to go on TikTok today. Maybe I'll go on Instagram Live later. Maybe I'll do it every single day. These small differences could be the difference between 10, 20, 30, or even hundreds of extra plays on your Spotify. Then there's the comment section. Anytime anybody comments on any of the content you are putting out there, you are going to use it. For a start, you're going to comment back because not only does that reward and say thank you to the person who's left the comment, but also it shows everybody else to join in. Hey, if you leave that comment, I'm not going to let you hang in. I'm going to be there. I'm going to comment right back because this is a community and we're in this together. And then you're going to share that comment on your Instagram stories because that is another piece of content. Again, it's going to have the music and it's going to have a link. Here is the reality of you releasing a single. Everybody wants it to be build up and release. And all of a sudden it's like you've let the tiger out of the cage and it's absolutely going crazy. But the reality is normally it isn't like that. Normally it's release and then it's work, work, work. But then that constant relentless work has the potential of opening up some sliding doors. That piece of content that you put out with the link in it is heard by someone for the first time who maybe tells their friend, who maybe says, hey, this would be really good for you to come and support our band or, or to be on that festival. Or maybe that would fit on my radio show. Hey, I think that could fit in my playlist. And all of a sudden, that spiral effect starts to grow and then your song starts to build momentum. And relentless is the word because on day two, I want you to message everyone you messaged on day one and say, hey, 
did you listen to the song all the way through? And they'll say, yes, I did. And you say, great, now go and do it again. Because this is about momentum. I need you to go and do it again. And this time, I want you to go and put it into a playlist with another bunch of songs that you love. Thank you very much. This is about momentum. And momentum is about energy. And energy is about relentlessness. And it goes round and round in circles. I want you to have a thousand plays on your Spotify in the first week. What? That's right, I want a thousand plays in the first week, even if you have zero fan base. Why? Because every single day you have an opportunity to get in front of hundreds and hundreds of people if you are making content in the right way. Think of this as an example. Making content on TikTok, even if you have no fan base, can get you in front of a few hundred people. Now, if you make a hundred pieces of content and each one of those gets in front of, I don't know, an average of 200 people, well, that's 20,000 views. Now, if every piece of content features the song, every piece of content is good, and every piece of content has a link to the song, who's to say that those 20,000 views can't get you 500 or 600 plays on your Spotify? And that's before we've even gone down the route of one-to-ones or trying to get on playlists or anything else. You see, the reality of releasing a single is most people think of it inside out. Everyone's going for the big hitters. They're just gonna say, I'm gonna get in there, I'm gonna throw a big right hook and try and get on a huge playlist. And then that doesn't happen and it gets frustrating and nothing happens. And then they have to start all over again a couple of months later with their next single. No, 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 we're not going to do that. We're going to get in and we're going to work it from the ground up. What we're going to do is we're going to get up early and we're going to spend 12 hours a day, as much of the day as possible, every single day for the next two or three weeks, making content, introducing yourself, showing off your talent, showing off that song, getting it out there again and again. And instead of just relying on just TikTok, we're going to say, no, no, TikTok, Instagram, Reels, stories, feed, YouTube, YouTube shorts, Twitter, anywhere we can think of making content, we are going to get that content out because of those sliding doors moments. So stop hoping for that lucky break that you're just going to land on a huge playlist and it will just all take off. If you're releasing music tomorrow, set your alarm early and get ready for a slog. And it's about the ones and twos and not the thousands and millions. And if you are releasing today, then what on earth are you doing watching this? You got work to do. Come on, chop, 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 chop. Get up, go and do it. So guys, thanks for watching. If you can do me a favor, hit that like, hit that subscribe because it does make a big difference and seriously if you are releasing music today <laughs> you need to fuck off and go and work now